So when it comes to food, it's really, really important that he learns to sit and wait. He has to work for it. Nope, sit, wait. And then I can bounce around the house and do my thing. Go in the kitchen, bounce, hop, whatever. But he needs to watch me and he does not get it until I say the magic word. But when I say that magic word, sometimes on accident, he gets it. Okay, good boy. So this snuff mat's really great for entertaining him, stimulating him, and then as well as using slow feeders or anything that has something that makes it slower for him. Those are really good too. Um, but that means any treats, any food ever, make him earn it. Okay, awesome. Okay, so these are bully sticks. Um, we talked about those a little bit. Um, I recommend like once a week for something that he can really, really gnaw on, um, especially while he's teething. Um, well, while he's teething, he'll need it more often than that. But when he's a little bit past that, then once a week is really good. So what you do is you give it to him the same thing with your food. He has to earn it, but it's a sit and wait and okay or whatever. You can make him lay, make him work for it. Good, wait. Right there, he just gently tapped my knee. That was really cool alerting. I want, I want him to know that that's a good thing. So, um, but what we want is for him to be entertained, to nod, to, it'll soothe him and it'll be really good. But we don't want um, to do it too often. So when he's done with it, you take it away. Okay, sit, wait. Really, I could go hide this somewhere and he could go find it. Okay. Okay, so I don't let my dogs take these outside because they will bury them and then later they'll go back and get them and you don't want them tearing up the yard. So we're gonna talk about place also. So this is his place. You can have it be whatever you want in your house, but I recommend it be something soft that he can be comforted on. He can play with toys. He can just entertain himself, but it also is a good when you're eating dinner, he goes place. When you're going, you know, just somewhere in your house, then it's go place. When um, he's like, if you need to go shower or need to leave the house, he needs to go in his crate. But having a place that's his will really help him to be calm and to understand the area and it, it helps a lot. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna talk about boundaries. So that means our leashes, these kind of leashes, cable leashes, crates, a space that he's confined, um, a pen, whatever, but any kind of boundary. Um, these are gonna be really, really important for both the mental, you know, just his stimulation, and also um, his potty training. He's done really great with potty training here. I think, like you said, he's done pretty good at home. Um, and also making it so that he can access the door and all of that when he needs to. So the thing about boundaries is that you need to gradually increase them. So what I've been doing when he comes in is I will let him sniff around and then come back to place, okay? Because that helps him to know what's in there, but then also he, he knows the space and then he can come back. If he doesn't respect that, it's straight on leash and back in there. So from your house, it's gonna go straight on leash when he comes in the house. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Cute. You look so cute! 